Hey guys, welcome to another luncheon review. Today I'm going to try this uh, Pierre Hardy rib sandwich uh, with barbecue sauce. It's a um, home favorite, over half a pound sandwich. It's, it's a pretty good sized sandwich. Um, previously, for, uh, it's refrigerated. Uh, we bought these at Walmart for $2.98 and it is in the deli like section of Walmart. Um, so they are refrigerated, not frozen. But like I said, it's bit, it has been frozen when they got it probably. 780 calories for the sandwich if you eat the whole thing. There's your other info for you. Uh, microwave directions. These are, yeah, they don't have ovens, just microwave. You probably put it in a toaster oven, I guess. But um, open wrapper slightly to vent. Microwave and half for one and a half to one, 150. I'll probably just do it a minute and a half. Let's send for 30 seconds and remove after we enjoy. So, and it says from refrigerator. So make sure you don't freeze it. I, this is literally uh, straight from them. Put it in the refrigerator and then it had an expiration date on there but uh you know just make sure you eat it before it expires so i'm going to open this up you really can't see anything i can't really pick it out but i'll let you see it when it's heated up hey right, here it is out of the microwave all i did was uh, i cut it in half and then i opened one half just so you can see what it looks like it kind of looks like a, a mcrib from uh, mcdonald's is what it kind of reminded me of um the bread's good and soft though the package is covered in like a plastic uh, seal inside so um, keeps most of the moisture inside, so it keeps it pretty good moist. So um, I am going to let this cool off for just a few more seconds, and I'll be back. I think it's, time to, it's had time to cool off. Um, I recommend that when you get the sandwich, when you've heated it up, to flip it over on the upside down to where the bottom is facing up, because the bottom is kind of um, steamed and, and kind of moist and wet. Um, so you probably want to flip it over just so it won't get really soggy at the bottom. Um, anyway. I do that with a lot of sandwiches because they're they tend to be wetter on the bottom than they do on the top. So here we go. There's uh, this is what it looks like. There's quite a bit of meat in this. I like the sauce. Um, the bread is really super tender. It's more it's good and warm, but it's good and tender like a fresh bun. So that's good. Um, the the rib itself, the pork riblet or whatever, um, it has got a really good taste to it. It's got a smoky texture to it. It, um, you can tell it's been processed, so it's not like a piece of rib, like a like an actual side of ribs. Um, it's not quite like that. You can tell it's pressed, but it's still a really good texture. Um, it's not too fine and grainy, which I don't like. It's it's in um, they've they've done really good. It's more like a hamburger. It feels more like a hamburger texture than anything, if that that makes sense. Um, but it's got a, like I said, it's got a good like grilled smoky flavor too, so I like that. What I like about the sauce, yeah, I love that smoky flavor. That's really, really good. Um, the grilled flavor. It tastes like it's came straight out of the grill. What I like about the sauce is it's not spicy like hot spicy. Um, it's a good sweet barbecue sauce, but it has tons of flavor in it. So this sandwich for me, honestly, it's a really good sandwich. So I'm going to give this one a five. It's definitely something I would eat again. I would try any more of their brands, uh, period. The Pierre uh, sandwiches, if we found more of them, I think they, they have more. I think they had different kinds. They had a couple of different flavors. Um, if they have more of these, I would definitely buy these and try them out if I can find them. Because um, this sandwich is really, really good. Um, good texture. If you like the McRib, I think you would like this. Um, yeah, it's really good overall. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.